So I had an idea. I have an extra stanchion base just because one stanchion, one side had more stanchions, and I wanted to make it symmetrical this time. Uh, and so I had tr this, this this little uh, bracket had 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 come off. It was welded originally, and I I wasn't able to weld it back because I don't know. I'm not that good at welding, I guess, or the material was contaminated or, or something. But whatever. I think I could use this bracket to go here, maybe. And uh, that would probably be even stronger than a bad weld. And it just goes in with a little set screw. So let's see if that fits. Hmm. Oh, the angle's not quite right, but uh, maybe let's 3D print a little block and that'll, that'll work, I guess. So we're gonna race again, but now I got the high tech carbon fiber racing pole, which David built himself. This is so cool. <laughs> we'll see if it holds. I think it will. And then this was this was this was my old spinnaker, <laughs> and we're all set to to race. Real good weather today. So we ripped a, a big Genoa there on one of the steps. Lots of excitement in this race. <laughs> so now it's time to to uh, fasten down these uh, the rails and stanchions. So that means I get to go to my favorite place down here. Oh. Get my bucket of nuts. Oh man. I gotta do that one by hand. No worries. I dropped my socket and I, it, this this panel here, so I think I gotta remove it to get it back. Secret compartment. I got all of the ones in the cockpit locker, and now I've graduated to the cabin. And uh, got these stanchion ones, but I need to do the backing plates on them. So that one will go right here. So I just realized I ordered these, most of these bolts are too long and they're not fully threaded, so I won't be able to tighten them all the way. So I'm gonna need to get bigger or shorter um, chain plate bolts, which is unfortunate because these are kind of expensive bolts. But a few of them are, are, are the right size, just fit the shape of the hull. So I'll tighten those ones up. So I was actually able to get these ones on here. Um, and I just need, I think I'll just get stacks of washers for that one. And then the two over here because uh, that'd be a lot cheaper than getting new bolts and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, now I'm tightening up the, uh, these are the series drogue chain plates and I, I decided to get a longer bolt for here and uh, some nylock nuts for these just because I don't want them coming undone from vibrations or nothing. All right, here we go. I gotta get back under here and do these hard to reach guys. Okay, all this furring strips need to go up on the roof. And so that's what I'm gonna do first. Right, I'm gonna bring out the air hose. I broke out all three air hoses for this job. I got them all connected together. We've got half of the, the lumber up there. We, we are using the Harbor Freight uh, 10 degree roofing nailer. 15 degree, 15 degree. roofer. Roofer. Nailer. Roofing nailer. We are two out of five so far. Let's try. Power. Yeah. We're good. 
has begun. Up here. Snake in the shop. Some type of fully red. It's a big one. Hey, buddy. <laughs> so it's like the middle of the day and the sun's out. Um, it's really hot up on the roof, so I'm gonna take a break. We'll open packages. We got some more gloves. I got a little more, one less fiberglass project, so that'll be very useful. Thank you, Alan Buckspan. A trip back to Harbor Freight got us the right combination of nails and uh, guns, so this one seems to be working much better. Uh, framing nail gun made really quick work of getting these uh, uh, strips on the on the roof. I did put some screws on there too, uh, but I like this thing. This is the Harbor Freight one, and the only thing I needed to do is put nails in, not, not let it run empty because then it kind of jammed. But other than that, and it being a little the grip being a little bit giving me a blister, I think this is a win for sure. I'm just borrowing it. So here's my water jug storage. I've got seven. And Larry built this to me there and they're really sturdy. So that way they shouldn't slide around even if uh, there's some of them are empty or removed. So now I just need to make a way to get to them. And I think I'll, this is the top. I'll just cut an opening in here. And then maybe we could cut another opening back here to get some of the storage. So here's the shape I'm thinking. And we'll try to use these as lids and just put a little bit of lip underneath here. And that should kind of stiffen it up as well. Thanks for watching. The metal roofing is going to arrive tomorrow and we'll be able to get that on. Uh, and we're less than a week from the boat launch date. So I'm so excited to get in the water and start sailing again. I'll see you guys next time.